we're still stuck basically where we were almost a year ago. And it sounds like actually you're not really thinking any differently at all. You did talk about compromises, but it sounds like your version of compromise just means telling everybody else that you were right all along. No. What's the evidence that you're actually going to shift position? I mean, look, resilience is a strength, but stubbornness is a weakness. What is the evidence that you are actually on something as important as customs to manufacturing across the country, that you are actually prepared to properly make some changes? Well, you ask what the evidence is on compromise. There are a number of areas on which we have shown our willingness to compromise in uh, matters relating to the withdrawal agreement. So the question, but not on this one. Uh, well, first of all, you accused me of not being willing to compromise. I've pointed out that we have shown our willingness to compromise. On this particular issue of customs, uh, what is important is that we are able to sit down and, if you like, tease out what the different elements of this is. It isn't sufficient simply to say there's one thing and that's, that's it and that's not. Actually, there are different ways that we, we can approach this issue. We have been, we've already as a government been exploring those. Um, we have, and we haven't come to an agreement with the European Union, you're right on that point. The political declaration identifies a spectrum of opinion. We are sitting down and talking through with the official opposition what are the different elements of this and what is it we are trying to achieve. I think we both want to ensure what we have as we, you know, we. I and my colleagues stood on our manifesto on a deep and close partnership with the European Union for the future. That's what we are aiming to achieve.